Hello everyone and welcome back to theCUBE's live coverage of Google Cloud Next here in Las Vegas, Nevada. I'm your host, Rebecca Knight, along with my co-host Rob Streche. We're, we're getting toward the end of the day, there's a DJ thumping, I think I know. there's a cocktails coming out soon. Yeah, we're, we're going to be dealing with uh, the, the envy of, <laughs> of the day, but I, I think what's been keeping us going has really been the great guests that have been coming on and really talking about what they're doing with Google and the partnerships that Google has brought to the table this afternoon have been fantastic and I think this one's going to be awesome as well. So. Well, a great segue to welcome Scott Alfieri. He is the global lead Accenture, Business, Accenture Google Business Group. Welcome to the show, Scott. It's great to be here, um, thank you. <laughs> Uh, this, I just want to say and reflect on an amazing point for Google Cloud. Google Cloud Next 24 is epic. Yeah. I mean, what they've announced, the energy, 30,000 people here is phenomenal. Yeah. So it's great to be here with you. Yeah, I mean, I think that, that part of it, we were talking about it earlier on, is that over a thousand enhancements that TK talked yeah. about on stage this morning, you start to look at that and a lot of that really does tie into what's going on with Accenture and going on with the partner community Absolutely. in general. How do, you, how do you really look at it about what does, I guess, the Accenture Google Business Group do and how does that tie back to Google Cloud? Beautiful question, thank you yeah. for that also. <laughs> yeah. Let's be sort of set and frame context. Yeah. So, the Accenture Google Business Group represents all of Accenture. So it's bringing together our industry, and technical capabilities coupled with pioneering Google technology. Frankly, our charter is super simple. It is to help our clients move through business reinvention on and with Google technology. So if you sort of step back from that and just sort of think about some things that are new this year. So we're excited that we announced here at Google Next several pretty pioneering engagements. So the first is with Best Buy. So everyone is talking about chatbots. Think instead about a digital concierge that's able to support all of us as well as their customer service agents as you move through product inquiry, move through questions, and move through service. So extremely powerful. Second major investment and in sort of news for us is with our Accenture Federal Services business partnered with Google Public Sector. So we've announced there is a new data and AI center of excellence and that comes on the back of what we announced several months ago related to a cybersecurity center of excellence. That charter for the cybersecurity center of excellence is all about helping and ensuring our agencies are able to monitor and be prepared for cyber threats. So, pretty exciting. Those are sort of top three areas that, you know, top two areas that we're very excited about. Finally, um, uh, with intercontinental hotels and resorts, 6,000 hotels globally, massive. 19 global brands. Our focus there together with Google and IHG is to enhance the guest experience so that all of us as guests of IHG when we travel with our families or in work have the best data being brought forward to enhance our experience as a guest. So really, really exciting and thank you for having me here. Yeah. Uh, what, did you, what did you call the chatbot? A digital concierge? A digital concierge. concierge. I love I it. Just, I, I just I think find yeah. Like chatbot seems just, mechanical. It's very yeah. more refined yeah. and sophisticated. I'm talking to a digital concierge. I love it. So, so those, those are sort of the three high level. Can you walk us through some of the recent news that, that you're announced? It's a, it's a dizzying yeah. <laughs> number of announcements. That so if we, if we just sort of step back and we'll double click a little bit more on Best Buy. So picture everything is about customer intimacy, right? So if you step back on that, it's about a brand and the end consumer. And if you can bring hyper-personalization together, much of that now is being done through generative AI. That fundamentally changes the intimacy you have. And who wins in the end? The consumer and the brand. All of that then is what surrounds that concierge. On the US federal work, I mean those are significant investments we're making. Because you can say you have a center of excellence, but what sits behind the center of excellence are the people, the certification, the instrumentation, the training that bring those to life. So now we're doing that now with data and AI, we've already been doing that with cybersecurity. And if you think about Google's cybersecurity business, it's massive. Chronicle, Chronicle Soar, 
SecPalm, their pathway language model, and of course Mandiant. And IHG, um, that's just exciting because with all the work that we, the three of us do, we're traveling a lot, to think about checking at that late hour and having everything there for you as a guest to enhance that experience, I don't know, that just, that just sort of makes me feel good. Yeah, uh, as, as people who do travel just a bit, I think it really is one of those things that we look at and say, hey, you know, bringing that concierge experience would be very nice when I got here at 11.30 last yes. night. <laughs> so I, I definitely do, do understand that, but I, I think it also is that really there's a lot of other news that you have with Google as well, you know, from investments in uh, skills, for instance. Yes, yeah. yeah. And, and kind, of, kind of take us through some of that and where that's helping out and where you're Beautiful. going with that. Well, I'll first just start with Accenture. Accenture continues to make big investments in our ecosystem, partners, and obviously surrounding cloud, data and AI, generative AI, security, and obviously with Google and Google Cloud. So start there, that's the baseline. Um, we recently announced a billion dollar investment um, in what we're calling Accenture Learn Vantage. The charter of Accenture Learn Vantage is to essentially bring forward all the methodologies, content, and training to essentially reskill the next generation of all the employee bases of our clients. So super exciting, extremely bold. Now, that investment of a billion is on top of our $3 billion investment we made last year in data and AI holistically. So we are putting money behind the significant growth that we're seeing here. Now, other areas we made investments, staying within generative AI and Google, um, we have globally generative AI studios. Obviously those studios, in order for you to deliver generative AI on Google, they need to be instrumented, supported, prototypes built from clients as well as with Google so we can showcase that to activate imagination with our clients. Another area with Google that we're super excited about is a joint generative AI COE. So picture Accenture people and Googlers together in the same entity working for our clients from early stage prototyping to then more detailed engineering. We have to realize is that in generative AI, right, that's what a lot of people are talking about, but what does it start with? It starts with cloud. Before cloud, it starts with migration and modernization. So from cloud, you then get to, if you will, the data state, and then above that, you get to generative AI. So all of these are cared for in that. And if we think about the professionals we have, over 13,000 uh, uh, Google Cloud uh, certifications, super proud of, and 36,000 Accenture people are trained and skilled in Google. So, in the end, it's all about the people and our ability to bring precision and scale to the market. Uh, I want to ask about that center of excellence yeah. you were just talking about. What are some of the, the tenants? I mean, you talked earlier about your charter and, and yeah. what the work you're trying to do together with Google. How do you come up with what exactly are the, the joint, the attributes that you're looking for yes. in the people who are at this center of yes. excellence and, and what you're trying to do together and then make sure that everyone is pulling together to, to, to come up with these solutions that, that, that are so desperately needed by organizations. Thank you, thank you for that question. Maybe I'll start a little bit even upstream. The charter again for Accenture is about business reinvention. That's everything from industry to technology to the new ways of working for all the people. So if we start there, everything frames around that because we are in the advancement of a new economy, right? We're not piloting generative AI anymore. We are now enterprise reinvention at scale. Now, and your question's about the people. So the first is, everyone at Accenture is intellectually curious. If you're not intellectually curious in any company at this time and not technically adept or interested in embracing it, you're probably going to have some more difficulty in the business world because everything about business is driven in and supported by technology. So first is intellectual curiosity. The second is our investments in our people as they move through their career in the certification and training that make them relevant to the market so we can deliver bold outcomes for our clients. And what are those outcomes? Everything from the reinvention that drives new business growth to operational efficiencies to brand new technical landscapes that then power business reinvention. So, 
Thank you for that broad question, but allowing me to address it from both our charter, our people, what attracts us, how they're motivated, and ultimately the outcome. Yeah, I, I, I think that to me is one of the keys, and I love the investment, you know, a billion dollars is nothing to sneeze about in the AI skills, because we've been talking about this like all day, it's like what's going to happen, and yeah. where are people going to go, how do they become applicable in this new model? But what, what, what's really next between Accenture and Google? What's, what's next on your plate with Google Cloud? Well obviously, um, if we just think a little bit, right now for again, 24, Google Next 24, the five awards, right? Again, Global Services Partner of the Year, the first one. The second one, Industry Partner of the Year for retail. The third one around uh, public sector, US, federal, civilian, super excited. Fourth one about specialization machine learning. And then the fifth around talent development in Japan. So that's our baseline now. When I think about 24, and as we then extend into 25, this is all, this year is about helping clients scale cloud, data and AI, cybersecurity, surrounded by new ways of working. So I start fundamentally there. But something that's really interesting, you've heard all day today about Gemini. So I'm just going to give you two really interesting live things we're doing. I can't say the client names, <laughs> um, but Everyone's been doing language translation for some time, but the secret sauce of it is context, right? You can do the translation of the words, right. but what is the context of the sentence and the purpose and intent? That's where we're spending a lot of time, Gemini being Google's multimodal large language model. So that we're working on Arabic, for example. Amazing to be involved in that and watch the difference of sort of the, uh, its capabilities. The second, let's talk about an automobile manufacturer. So early stage concept design. If you're able to enable a designer to do prototyping faster, to get adjustments faster, to bring in governance to then move things through into latter parts of design, there's a dramatic impact on how fast a car, a new car, a new design can be brought to market, as well as how fast something could be retired and let's make adjustments. So those are two things in Gemini. Finally, I just step back and think, there's sort of four things that our teams globally are focused on with Google and our clients. All of this framed in industry, why? Because industry is where our clients live. So the first is customer engagement. When you think about customer engagement, all of the technology of Google, all the capabilities of Accenture, allow us to frame positions where a brand can create more hyper-personalization, in turn, more intimacy with the end consumer. Everybody wins. The second is operational efficiency. Now this is a broad term, right? <laughs> but this is everything from where you go from cloud, to cyber, to data, to AI, to help clients reinvent. The third is new product development for growth. When I step back on that, obviously you can't just be doing operational efficiency, you need to be finding new revenue uh, uh, streams. So using cloud native platform engineering on Google to recreate or create the net new S curve of growth for clients is fundamentally an amazing experience to be involved in. And finally, I'll close with it's all about the people. All about the people. The world needs more people embracing technology, not less. The world needs more people trained in generative AI, not less. And our objective and purpose is to unlock the superpowers of organizations globally, and that's everything from the developer, to the marketer, to the sales associate, to the team leader. So, I just wanted to thank you for having me here. Hopefully you can tell the passion we have around Google, and uh, appreciate uh, your questions uh, on our business. No, we, we thank you. I mean, I think again, this is, it's always, good to hear where thing, you know, the rubber meets the road and where things are really going and where you know, the concierge is actually adding value. So you know, it's, it's always good to give and inspire people at what, they, what they're looking to go and do and build. So thank you as well. Thank you. Yeah, absolutely. No, your optimism is palpable. So excellent, excellent. Well, thank you so much for coming on the show and thank you for tuning in to theCUBE's live coverage of Google Cloud Next. I'm your host, Rebecca Knight, along with my co-host, Rob Strache. You are watching theCUBE, the leading source of enterprise news.